officially step two of the production process and there is so much to do. I have the stats. I have 13 tops to make. I want to soft launch it at the market in Amsterdam, which is in, I thought it was in two weeks. It's in a week and a half from today. And I basically only have, let's say two days to sew because I do work a full-time job. I have two free days and then I have some evenings. So let's say like two and a half days to sew all these tops. Can I do it? I don't know, but we're gonna try. These are all the bundles that I cut. If you would have seen my last video, you would have seen me like prep this all. Basically each bundle is one top with everything needed. So like the labels, the bias binding, everything is in here. The next step I do, which is crucial for my efficiency, is grouping it into thread color so I don't have to keep changing my machine. I want to just change it once, so as many as I can, and then change it again. They're, I think, honestly going to be mostly white or cream. Like, this is cream, white. Sometimes they're, like, look a little white, but maybe the cream is better because the white can be really stark white. Okay, this is white. These are cream. White. Oh, I have a blush pink. Do I have a blush pink? Yes, I do. This white or navy blue? I'm looking past the camera because I have all my reds on the shelf behind and I think I'll use navy blue. Yeah. Honestly, a majority white, three cream, and they each have their own color. And in the white one, do I have one of every size? Ooh, extra small. I do. I have one in every size in all the white threads, so that's perfect. If I can get those done today, that would be a huge win. Threads are sorted and also with my serger here that you see, it has four spools that are needed for it. And I don't really have four spools of like all my other colors, nor do I want to rethread a serger. If you've ever had to rethread a serger, you know that it just like is a bit annoying. I mean it's possible, but just annoying because there's four threads you have to like put through, make sure it's all right, make sure the tension's okay. Anyways, it's kind of annoying basically what I'm getting at. So I'm keeping it white. Everything can work with a white serger inside. It's totally fine. There's nothing that it would look really weird on. So I'm just gonna go with it. Also keeps everything looking pretty consistent across all fabrics. Let's start sewing. Like, no, actually let's thread the machine and then we can start first top. I started pressing this tulipy peach one, this one, but then I was realizing I should actually just press a bunch of them and work on a bunch at the same time. I mean, that was the plan all along, but I was getting too excited and I wanted to start this top. I'm gonna simultaneously work on four at a time, press all the straps. There's eight straps per top, so that's a lot. I think four is a good amount to like handle at one time. So I think I'm just gonna be pressing for a while, four of them and go from there. Everything is pressed and ready. I just need my other foot so I can do all these straps. Look how many straps I have to sew. This is gonna be a long, a long sewing day. feel bad about staying inside and sewing all day oh my back hurts okay i think the straps are honestly probably the most time consuming just because they're so small and require a lot of attention when i'm sewing them though i just do a continuous stitch so i can just cut them apart after this makes me realize that it might take me a little longer to make all these than i anticipated but we'll do our best they look like pom-poms or something. I'm going to just tack down the content label and size label on the piece that I want. I put them together, I put like the size and content label like this. 
in the side. Oh no. I want the seams to press forward. That means they'll go like this. Ah, I actually want it on the back piece. Why can't I like envision this right now? I don't know. Okay, so I actually want it on this piece. This is the back and then this is gonna go forward and then we're gonna put this here because that's gonna get some, that's gonna face forward. This is gonna lay towards the back because this is the side seam. Did you get all that? I'm just moving the tag to the other piece so it just falls properly when I press the seams the way that I want them to go. Okay, that's way better. Looks the same, but it's just on the back piece. Okay, I have all the like labels on it. Now I'm just gonna whip up the like shoulder seams, like all the seams to make like the actual shell of the top, the main part, I guess. So this is the exciting part. It starts to like look like the top it's going to be at the end. And then once that's complete, we'll move to the serger and like whip them through the serger. But this is probably my favorite part of sewing is when it starts to actually come together and it starts to become a wearable piece. <laughs> We got the first one. Of course, all the seams inside are raw, but it's looking good. What size is this? This is an S. Cute. Now three more. I'm really excited to see what this one looks like. I love, 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 love this fabric. The other thing that I am loving and really appreciating is that all my notches are matching up perfectly. When I was making my pattern, I was really making sure that all my notches would match up. So it paid off, I would say. So I've completed all four, like the outer shell, of course. It's already got dark, it started raining. There's a storm coming by. So these are the four. This one is definitely a top runner for me. And now the next step is surging. I just need to rearrange all my cords because I actually only have two outlets. One goes to the washing machine. So I only have one and then I have an extension cord, but certain cords are only certain lengths. So I need to like unplug things, plug things and that's what it's like to sew in the attic. <laughs> I feel like this is an angle that I don't normally give you of this side of the studio. I just have to surge all the interior seams and this just stops it from fraying when you wash it it keeps it all intact and just gives it like an overall clean finish i was just searching the last shirt of course it's the last one but something snapped in the serger like one of the threads and it stopped looping correctly like it wasn't stitching anymore so i have to re-thread my serger to figure out where the problem is which is the whole thing i was trying to avoid doing like i didn't want to re-thread it. But here we are. And since we're here, I'm gonna show you why it's so annoying. So we have our four threads here and they each go through their own channel with their own tension as well. Then when you come down here, we just open this. Don't at me with how dusty it is inside. It's hard to keep clean. Then we also open this. So this is a looper, this piece, and it moves like when I move the handle, you can see it moving. Yeah, this is it. They even give you a diagram to rethread because that's how annoying it is. So this is what I have to figure out now. Yay me. It's almost like a surgery with tweezers. test and then we are good to go oh i see the blade isn't strong enough at all like it doesn't cut anything well that's super good to know there's a blade that's supposed to cut the fabric off as you go and this blade is way too dull that it doesn't cut anything it's not the end of the world but like i need a new blade but it surges I'm just gonna give them all a quick press. Where's my ham? 
I need my ham. By ham, I mean my like ironing ham and the sausage. <laughs> but I'm just pressing all the seams flat. And then we can start with like final touches, so, like the ties, the hem, the bias binding. It's all a little bit finicky and takes time, but the last step. pressing because it honestly just makes it look that much better the difference between what is it this side is not pressed at all like how lumpy it is but this side it's so nice and flat it looks nice okay first one complete it feels good to know that this is one that could go out into the world of course i'll do one last press when i ship it off but this is done ready to go labels and all Oh, also with the labels. Remember last week when I wasn't sure how I wanted to do it? So I decided to do this in the end, just pop it in the bias. You can see it when it's hanging and I think that's what matters the most. Like, I think it still looks okay. Shirt one, down. 12 more to go. <laughs> I want to do this one next because I'm just way too excited to see it. But I think my phone is actually about to die and I honestly should probably really focus on sewing because when I'm filming and sewing, I'm like trying to think about angles and like what to film, what to not film. So it can be quite distracting. So I'm going to leave you, but I will catch up with you tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to sew some more. We're going to sew every waking hour that we have, really. Good morning. It is quarter to nine this morning, the next day. And actually last night I managed to finish the four that I was working on and they look really good. I love, but I'm really happy with the results. And then I also last night prepared two more for this morning to start sewing. So they're all pressed. The straps are ready to be sewn. And I just want to honestly like put my headphones on and crank them out. I have to work this afternoon. So the goal is to finish two more before I go to work. And then that leaves us with only seven more to sew. So then it's like halfway. And I think we're on a good trajectory to get them all finished. and it's 10 to 12 which was goal that i was aiming for 12. i'm just gonna give this a final press and we have two more to add this is an extra large it's the first extra large i made actually and i'm pretty happy with it this fabric is really really nice it's a plaid but like a white on white then i gotta go to work <laughs> but then we'll sew what day is it today thursday Friday. we'll sew again tomorrow morning yeah oh wait i closed the door Good morning. We are on the last day of sewing. The last day that I've given myself. I don't know the last thing I actually showed you or like filmed, but today I have my one last full free day before the market and I only have five more to sew. We are making pretty good progress and I'll actually show you what's been done so far. All the finished ones I'm keeping in this garment bag that I made just to keep it like protected. So these are all the complete ones. Like this quite a bit. This is what progress looks like. <laughs> and then I have these two. I just kept these last because it's only one thread color each. And then over here, I already prepared these. There's three here. These are two different sizes. And then this one, it pressed all the straps. Like these are ready to like start sewing now. And this is where we're going to start today. After sewing eight tops, I've really like nailed down my sewing process. It's going a lot smoother and a lot faster now, which is helpful. Like once I get into my sewing rhythm, I just like put my headphones on and focus on sewing and it goes really fast actually. I would say the most time consuming part is the end finishes, like the bias around the neck and the armholes. That's what I would say is probably the most time consuming just because it has to be very technical. So it takes more like focus.
just finished top number three that I started earlier. Been like a few hours. Isn't this such a sweet fabric? Oh, it's so nice, but I love this. So cute. These are extra small. This is an L. Oh, love it. Three more done. Two more to go. And it's not even that late. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon or something. I think I'm going to start with the blue checkered one because I'm really eager to see what this looks like. We finished the pla uh, not plaid, checkered, checkered XL. Super cute. I think if you're going for a picnic in the park, this has your top with the cute little bralette underneath. So good. I have one more final one. Now I was thinking if I had time because it's not so late in the day that I was going to cut another one but honestly I already noticed I, I'm getting a blister on my hand from ironing so much and it's kind of hurting so I think I can only physically handle sewing this one. <laughs> the last one also because my back is starting to hurt. I don't think I'm gonna push it. I got a snack because I was hungry. Rosmarino Tirelli. Basically crackers. So um, We are done. This is the very last one. Oh man, this is a relief. I kind of can't believe I finished everything. I won't show you everyone because that ruins the surprise uh, when it's time for release, but you get a good idea of them. It's done. Sewing is done for now. But I'll see you next week. And until then, enjoy. I hope you sew something at home. It's always fun. And don't kill yourself uh, as much as I do. Like ironing so much, you have blisters on your hands, but it's worth it. It's worth the pain. Sewing is worth the pain.